Welcome to the next lesson in the Weiss's Form Studio video training series. Today we're going to continue with our inventory receipt form and add some display fields and a validation for the item field that will not only validate the item exists in Macola, but also populate our disp display fields that we've added to the form. So let's get started by launching Form Studio. Select our database, select our training project, and I'm going to make a copy of this form so that we have a before and after. And I'm going to go ahead and open this form. So if you recall, we didn't put any validation on this, on the item field, so you can type anything you want. Even though the item doesn't exist in Macola, it's, it's not checking. So what we're going to do is add some checking to make sure that the item that is scanned or entered is valid. One of the other benefits of a validation is it can return information that you might need to use related to that item such as, is it binned, is it lotted, what's the description, things like that. So what we're going to do is add some text fields to display the description and display the unit of measure. So I'm going to go ahead and use regular text fields. I don't need a lookup because these are just display fields. I'm going to follow our naming convention, TXT, item description. And since these are lookup fields, they're not enabled. They're display fields, so they're not enabled. And this is not numeric, nor is it a special data type. So I'm just going to go ahead and go down to my next field for the unit of measure. And same with that. It's no need to be enabled since it's a display field and it's not numeric. So. What we'll want to do is move these up on the form to a more logical place right after the item. And then we're going to click on the item and go ahead and add our validation. So we added our lookup in a previous lesson. So now we're going to go to our action. And what, we're want to, what we want to add is a validation transaction. The categories are inventory, order entry, purchase order, pop production, packaging, and shop floor control. So the validation that we're looking for is going to be under IM for inventory management. And I'm going to scroll down because we're looking for receipt validations. And here we have a receipt validate item number. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click next. And now our, it wants to know what our input parameter is. What value are we going to pass to the validation to be used and check to see that that item exists in Macola? So what we're going to do is we want to select our item field from our form as the input parameter. And then the tab that says return data is the data that the validation is going to provide back to us, such as the description. The item number, we want to bring back the valid item, and also the unit of measure. Even though there's other fields that can be returned, right now we're not going to return any of those values. So I'm going to go ahead and say finish, and close. Then I'm going to save my form, and we'll simulate. So now if I try to type in an item and press enter, it turns red and I get item number not found. That is a direct result of passing that value that I typed in to the validation and the validation has figured out that that's not a good item. So now if I type in a good item and press enter, you'll see the validation returns the values to our display fields, description, in unit of measure, and it also takes us to the next available field for input, which happens to be our location field. 
In our next lesson, we'll add some variables, formulas, and another validation for this location field to continue to enhance our form. So this concludes the lesson on validations.